I'm going to show you how to upgrade your data models in deep mob learning. So you can see here, I've got a zombie data model already running simulations and it's on advanced. If I take that out and I have a look at it, I'm going to put it in my deep learner. You can see here, um, it's defeated seven zombies and the model tier is advanced. Defeat 22 more to reach superior. And if I hover over it and press shift, you can see the data collected is 73 out of 300 and the data per kill is 10 so what i can then do is summon a zombie and kill it and you must get the killing blow by the way you must 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 get the killing blow for it to count if i now look in here you can see it says i need to defeat 21.7 more and suddenly there's 83 data collected so what i'm saying here is that you can see it says how many more to reach it Data collected is 83 out of 300. At 300, it will upgrade to the next data model tier. However, we can actually go um, and get 10 data every time we kill a zombie. Now, that's all well and good, right? But you can also do this automatically. When we put it in the simulation chamber here, it's actually also going to get data when it's running the simulations so again we're at 83 here and i'm just going to let this run its course and now it's actually gone on to the next simulation what you can see is it's gone up to 84. so when you put it in the simulation chamber it will actually if you really can't be bothered then it will actually go up for you but it's only going to go up one at a time you can see it's now 85. so you will now need to run 215 simulations to get this up to the next level However, if you actually just do it manually by going out and killing zombies, you will actually collect 10 data every single time and you will only need to kill about 20 of them, which could be done really quickly in one night in Minecraft. So is it entirely up to you? Don't forget you are going to get a higher chance of getting pristine matter um, for the higher tier it is. So it depends how much you really need that material from your loot fabricator, but that is how you upgrade data models in deep mob learning if you are looking for well and it's also actually how you collect data really fast in deep mob learning as well because if you do it manually you're going to collect data really fast if you do it automatically you're going to collect data really slowly and there we go that is how you upgrade modules in deep mob learning for minecraft should you be looking for other deep mob learning tutorials check out the playlist you now see on screen